Hello, welcome to the vlog. Yes, welcome. I'm currently sitting at home wishing I was at school on campus making more phone calls. I was trying to get an EV earlier today and like the app was messed up. The app's working now, but there's just no cars available. It's very easy to get up. Oh, there's a car down the street, child. I gotta go. Um, yeah, I gotta go. Talk to you guys later, bye. 11 minutes later. Okay, trust me, I know that was very dramatic, but I had to like run out of the house and then get on the bus and then come to the EV, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Trust me. I understand the chaos that I'm bringing to this vlog. I, I get it. The reason I couldn't talk outside is because my eyeballs hurt. It's so sunny and I forgot my sunglasses, but I ran out of the house without enough time to like check what I needed. So I'm just going to go quickly home, grab my sunglasses, and then I'm going to go up to campus. I want to keep calling people to try to make appointments because I need more patience. So that's my day, talk to you guys. And I'm also gonna go to the grocery store because you know that fruit and yogurt I bought from the farmer's fridge or whatever it's called? I always wanna call it fresh and fit. I need to stop buying that because it's too expensive. I'm just gonna make it. It's pretty like simple to make it. I just need to get like all the ingredients. <laughs> so that's my plan. 20 minutes later. Okay, honestly, the amount of chaos this morning. So since I last checked in, I have lost <laughs> the part of my microphone that plugs into the phone. But when I went in my house, I had to go twice First time to get, I don't really remember. Second time I forgot the cord to hook up, to, like from my phone to the car to make Android auto work. I was like, mm -mm. oh, first I had to get my sunglasses. But I did set down both parts of my mic and maybe I just didn't pick them both up. Um, so yeah, total chaos. And I decided to just take the, um, the non-highway route. Cause first of all, I'm just used to it, you know, driving to school. And second of all, I like it. It's much less hectic, like, much less trying to merge onto the highway when, by the way, assholes, when you see this sign, that means the lane that's merging has nowhere else to go except the lane you are in. So you need to move, okay? They have nowhere else to go. Anyway, lights are green. Hey everybody, checking in. I'm leaving campus and going to Walmart and then I'm going home. I'm trying to make my Walmart trip very quick because I'm hungry. Like I said, last week I forgot to get my deodorant and I need like more toothpaste and like Cascade, like counter cleaner, stuff that I can't buy at Aldi. But I have a list and I hope to just knock it out real quick and then get home. I was able to schedule one patient, but I scheduled two appointments. I think technically I have enough people. I might be missing one person and I don't know what anybody's calculus level is until they get here and I need somebody that's a calculus level two. So best case scenario, I don't know what the best case scenario is. Maybe best case scenario, one of the people I already have scheduled is a calculus two, but that's probably not gonna happen. So I pretty much need like two people, calculus level one and a calculus level two. So I just got sick of calling people and I would look at people's chart. They would have periodontitis, which we can't see people who have periodontitis. I think maybe I'm wrong I'll ask I think I thought we could only see people who don't have periodontitis but maybe I should check anyway I'm gonna get home because as I already said I'm freaking hungry talk to you guys later bye hey YouTube did I check in yesterday I don't know I am so fucking pissed right now back on January 22nd that's the day that I oh, I'm just fucking pissed I'm just pissed <sighs> so this whole transfer thing First, I ask my manager, can I transfer? He says he's gonna talk to somebody and then he tells me no. Then I go to the union and it turns out there's an official paper that I have to fill out. So I fill the paper out and I guess it was January 22nd that I submitted the paper. Now between January 22nd and I don't know, like a week and a half after that, I get two emails. The first email saying, you, you don't have the, the correct signatures. So I sent back an email to the union and said, hey, I got this email saying they don't have everything they need. I sent them exactly what I sent you that you told me to submit. And he said, okay, I'm gonna check with them. And then he said, okay, they have everything they need. I got another email saying the same thing. I didn't respond, I just ignored it because I was told they had everything they need, okay? Then I get another email saying, we don't have everything we need and we're gonna close your request in three days. So I reach out again to the union saying, hey, I got an email saying they don't have everything they need. They're going to close it in three days. Then I get a paper back that I have never seen before that has two more signatures on it, which is what the email that I initially received asked for. He's like, did you get this? I'm like, no, I never got that. I mean, I never got that because you didn't fucking send it to me. I didn't say that. 
So what do I do? I go and I upload the correct document, number one. Then I delete the wrong document, number two. And then I reply to the email that said they were gonna delete my request in three days. And this was a monitored email address. I reply to the email telling them you have the correct documents. What happens three days later? They close the request. I fucking reach out to the union again, tell him what happened. And he's like, oh, well, basically saying fucking nothing. That was on Friday. And then on Tuesday today, I just texted him like, hello, like, you know, do you have an update for me? Talking about you submitted everything. So could you submit it again? No, how about you submit it? Okay, because I'm now having to take responsibility for other people's mess ups. I'm not nobody's mama. I don't need to be fucking responsible for nobody else's bullshit. That's the reason I did what I was supposed to do because I don't want to be dealing with this, okay? I don't want to be coming back two weeks later talking about you don't have the documents, could you do it again? No! Why should I do it again? Because you messed up? Because they messed up? No! You need to figure that out, not me. That's not my responsibility. I did my part. That's why I do my part. The reason I do my part, the reason I get understanding on what's expected of me, the reason I reach out and be proactive is because I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And like I told him, can you reach out to whoever needs to reach out to? Because doing it again a second time when it was done right the first time, maybe it took a while for it to be done right, but I, with all the information I had, I did it right. That turns into doing it a second time, doing it a third time. I don't have time for it, okay? So you need to reach out to whoever needs to be reached out to and get it worked out because I did my part. So why are we, I don't have time for this. Why are they playing around with me? I don't even, I'm so fucking pissed right now. And he's texting me back after I told him like, I'm, I don't have time to do this a second, third, fourth, fifth time. I did everything I was supposed to do. The only reason I didn't do it right the first time is because I didn't get the document from you until I talked to you two times telling you what happened. So this is not my fault. This is not my responsibility. Somebody's gotta take responsibility and it's not me. I'm happy to take responsibility when it's earned, when it's needed, when I need to, this is not me. This is not me. I didn't fail here. I didn't fail here. So what the fuck? I'm fucking pissed. I'm fucking pissed. And I have like an hour and an hour before I have to go to work. I didn't go to work last night, but I should probably go tonight. I didn't go because I just called in. And there was a car pretty close when I checked like, I don't know, half an hour ago. Who knows if there'll be one, but I'll, I'll get one. And tomorrow we have like all day on campus, our class that's normally nine o'clock to 11 o'clock online. And then we have a two hour break. It's gonna be on campus. So I have a freaking two hour class on campus and then a two hour break and then freaking dental materials for three hours. It's like, I'm not in the mood for any of this, like any of it. I haven't read the text message. Should I read it now on camera? See what the fuck he's talking about? Let's see, bullshit, bullshit is what he's talking about. Resubmit it and I'll make some calls tomorrow to find out why it didn't get done. I'm about to tell him forget it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, see, I'm the type of person who's cut my nose off to spite my face. I'm about to tell him forget it. I'm about to tell him forget it. I'm about to tell him forget it because I don't have time for it. I just told him I don't have time to resubmit it. Just forget it. Thanks anyway. So, won't be transferring. I don't know what's happening. They don't have the spots anyway. So, whatever. I don't have time to fucking go through this. I'm going to work on instrumentation before I got to go to work because I'm, like I said, I'm fucking pissed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So, I just about to go try to find an EV, get dressed for work, but I texted my boss and he said he doesn't need me to come in tonight. So great. I am instrumenting. On the weekend, I painted the gingiva with nail polish and then put the cornstarch on it. I also got the polenta, but I decided to use cornstarch because that's what the, we use these videos called Visual DH. That's what she suggested. The book says something like, it didn't really tell you what to use. It was just like, find something to make calculus. It's like, okay, but, but what? I kind of think, still kind of think the, the polenta might have been better, but maybe not. I don't know why I think I know better. I've been exploring these teeth with my new little sheets, trying to make sure that they're all right because I'm going to print them tomorrow. And then I'm going to remove all the calculus that I made so that I don't have to go to work. I don't think I have laundry to do, but I have laundry to put up. I have a shower to take. I'm not pissed anymore, thank God. But knowing that I don't have to go to work really helps me not to feel stressed. I was pretty tired today. I went to bed way too late, so I'm not gonna make that mistake again. I probably gotta be in bed in five hours. I mean, I can get a lot done in five hours. If I like actually buckle down, I can get a shit ton done. So really it's about going through this whole list here, making sure that I have everything right. 
because I don't have an unlimited amount of those sheets. Oh, I have a quiz to do, but maybe I can do it on campus. Probably not because you need lockdown browser. So I have to like go to the library. And during my break, I don't necessarily want to go to the library. I guess I could. It's either go to the library during break or do the quiz tonight. So maybe I'll go to the library during the break. I also have to confirm my patients tomorrow. My first patient is a, an alumni. So hopefully she doesn't cancel. That would be so fucked up. <laughs> my second patient is my mentor. So again, hopefully she doesn't cancel. That'd be so fucked up. I need to print some more flyers. One of my classmates said she's going to put some in the mailboxes around where she lives, which would be great. But the thing about it is I don't have anybody for my morning appointment on February 29th. And you have to have a patient for every appointment. So that's where I'm at right now. I think tonight I'm going to, there's like a buy sell area on next door that I had no idea about. So I'm gonna post on that area as well. And um, yeah, hope that I get somebody. And I haven't even thought about the fact that we have to do evaluations on these patients. It's just so stressful, it's so stressful. Anyway, I don't feel like sitting here and talking and wasting my time. What I feel like doing is more instrumenting. I'm gonna get this exploring done and then start trying to remove this plaque calculus rather and yeah get on my night i'll check in before the night's over to let you know how it went and so that's all see you later bye okay i totally forgot that i have this meal and i don't have any naan i'm gonna run up to the grocery store really quick and buy some naan because i don't know when i'm gonna get a chance to go tomorrow it's not looking good especially if i have to work same for thursday friday it's just i need to go so totally forgot i'm gonna go do that real quick I'm mad. I went for one thing and of course I didn't walk out of there with one thing. I was gonna get this ice cream. We have this ice cream place here called Grand Old Creamery. I think they have pizza too, but that's beside the point. They have this ice cream called Black Hills Gold, which is, I wanna say caramel ice cream with Oreo cookie pizzas and pecan pralines. And they also have this other ice cream that's called Coffee Break, which is like coffee ice cream with Oreos delicious when you go there you can get a single scoop but you can get it split so you can get two flavors oh, it's amazing but i don't have a car <laughs> and it's like really far away it's in st paul they have one that's in minneapolis but i think they're seasonal they're not open all year so all that to say i was gonna get a pint of ice cream but i didn't trust myself i was like the way i'm feeling because i'm not feeling like great still i'll be gonna eat the whole thing and i don't want to do that so i decided to just get a m&m cookie in the top three cookies for sure we got m&m white chocolate macadamia and I'm an oatmeal raisin girl. I am, don't come for me. I got my naan. I definitely got ripped off. This was $4.49 and it is six ounces. I could have got Stonefire, whatever, you know, the normal naan, but it was only a two pack. And I think it was like a dollar cheaper and it was eight, 8.8 .8 ounces. So it was like more product. I got these butter chicken meatballs again. I cannot pass these up. These are so good. Like they're so good. I'll just end up freezing. I'm just gonna probably throw this right in the freezer. Naan is great in the freezer. You just use it straight from frozen. I mean, not like eat it frozen, just put it in the oven. And I decided to get some seasonal kombucha because I guess tomorrow's Valentine's Day, right? Pure love. It's a um, blood orange hibiscus and rose. I almost got a blood orange kombucha but then i was like wait a minute i don't actually like blood oranges <laughs> i forgot but hibiscus sour i love that so i'm hoping that the three together are good and it's you know whatever and then i got strawberry serenity i don't know that i've ever had this one and i've been craving lately like beverages like more than water more than sparkling water i've been craving something that's like a beverage so got me a couple beverages to work on I was gonna come home and just finish on my type on, but I think what I wanna do instead is I wanna get ready for bed. So I wanna take my shower and that way, when I come here and finish my type on, when I have dinner, when I watch some TV, cause there's um, a show I'm watching on Hulu. It has, I don't know his name. Oh, I think his name is Mandy Patinkin. Wait, Mandy Patinkin, is that right? Saul from um, Homeland. It's called Death and Other Disasters, I think. I think it comes on last night. So I have an episode of that to watch. And so rather than like be putting off my shower until later and later, and then it's like, you know, 10 o'clock and I still haven't showered, I'd rather just do it now. That way in the drop of a dime, I can just go to bed. Anyway, all that to say, I'm going to put my little groceries away, my little mini haul, and then I'm going to get in the shower. Oh, did I mention that I'm gonna make my own DIY, that little fruit and yogurt bowl that I always have? I looked at the recipe. Well, I didn't look at the recipe. I looked at the, the ingredients. 
It has Fuji apple in it. I feel like I can get at least two, maybe three bowls out of this little apple. It has Greek yogurt. I figured that it wasn't non-fat, so I got Faye 2%. It has honey in the yogurt. And then our vanilla bean paste is making another appearance. It has blueberries in it. I have some frozen blueberries. And then it has granola on the top. So I made some granola last night. The granola is oats, pecans, cinnamon, salt, maple syrup, canola oil, and coconut. Did I say coconut? I actually kind of like winged it on my own. I loosely based it on two recipes. I'll put those two in the description box. But one thing that I did different from what the recipe called for and one thing I would do different next time is this cooked for an hour total at 250, I wanna say, and I started every 15 minutes. I put the coconut in at the very last, I think I did 10 minutes with the coconut and it's still like brown. You can't really see the coconut. There's like a piece of coconut right there. You can see it. It's still way browner than the one in that bowl, the yogurt bowl. So next time I make it, I would either put the coconut in with five minutes to go, or I would just stir the coconut in after it comes out. I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious, but I have to make that tonight. It won't take long at all. I just have to, you know, mix my honey and my vanilla and my yogurt, throw some blueberries in a container. I have this container. I got it from the dollar store. I wanna say it came with two, but I only have one. This is a Rubbermaid. You can buy them on Amazon. I guess I'll link it below. This is a two cup, but I just bought one that is, or I bought a set that is 1.2 cups. Cause this seems like a bit big. I don't know if you can tell how big this is. It's like very large, but what's good about it is it has that little tray where you can put your dry stuff. So I'm gonna take that tomorrow since we have all that time on campus. We got this in class today in pharmacology. We have to like, let's see what drug I got. I got two drugs. Warfarin, I know this is a blood thinner. We talk about it all the time. And lisinopril, we've talked about this too. We have to like make a little post about the drug and stuff like that. So, you know, the schedule is full of shit to do for clinic, for pharmacology, for radiology. It never ends. So rather than keep talking, I'm going to go take a shower and then keep instrumenting. More later, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, whenever. I'll see you, bye. Well, 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 it's time for me to go to bed. It's past time for me to go to bed, but what are you gonna do? I really hate the fact that we're on campus these next three weeks, cause it is so nice to get up at like 8.40. I had to get up at 6.30 tomorrow. So two hours earlier for the same exact these motion lights child I tell you two hours earlier for the same exact class because it's on, on campus anyway let me go ahead and get into bed i gotta put my moisturizer on the one thing i will say about tret tret no one i don't know how to say it i used to have oily skin like it was almost to the point where it was a personality trait like i had oily skin now my skin is just not oily like i don't even I don't have oily skin. So I don't know why I didn't go on this shit like 10 years ago, cause I hated having oily skin. It was horrible, horrible. So there's one thing. Anyway, nobody cares. Bye, good night. Happy Valentine's Day. Aww. <laughs> so yeah, I got home about, I don't know, half an hour ago-ish. Mmm. Cosmic crisp apple. And I like it. I took this apple to work today. I mean, school. And there wasn't enough room in my lunch bag, so I just put it in my backpack. Which, by the way, does cut fruit go bad in four hours, like, you know, like regular food? Hopefully not. I was wondering why my lunch felt like so incomplete. <laughs> I forgot to eat the apple, and then I also had some chips I was gonna eat, some protein chips. I forgot to eat the chips, so I just forgot to eat all my damn food. But I'm not going to work tonight. Thank the Lord I have the night off. I think I said last year, like, if I could have one night off, it would be Thursday. No. If I could have one night off, it will be Wednesday, being that I have to be on the bus at 5.40. Yeah, that's a, a nine o'clock bedtime, which I'm not sure that I'm gonna make nine o'clock, but like probably pretty close. I have two patients tomorrow, both are confirmed. My first patient is an alumni, or is it alumna? And my second patient is my mentor. My alumna, alumni patient, we talked today and she says she wants to make sure that she's out of there at 11.20 because she has another appointment. And she was like, I'm really apologetic, but that's fine, girl. I don't care. And even still, we um, like our goal is to dismiss patients at 1120 anyway. So it's really no problem at all. I'm just going to let my instructor know in our morning huddle 
that she has like a heart out. So that way, you know, we're just making sure we all work together and get her out on time. My second year, we talked, we're all, we're all set. So I'm feeling more confident. I asked my clinic lead a bunch of questions today to get some clarification. So I feel way more confident than I did have been feeling. Not great, but I feel like, like previously to today, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing and maybe a little bit like I couldn't do it. But now I feel like I can do it. Like I feel like I, I can do it, I can do it, so that's good. And I posted on Nextdoor in like the for sale section about the dental cleanings and I had a person respond and we're gonna talk on the phone in about 15 minutes. I know nothing about the person except their name. I don't even know if it's gonna work out. Like if they, you know, I, I don't, I guess like if they haven't been to the dentist in like, like three years, I probably would <laughs> probably say that might not be the best person to bring in, right? And depending on how, what their home care is like. He said he's available on the 29th. So he could be my morning appointment, which would mean that I have everything filled up until spring break, which would make me feel really good. I also talked to my teacher about what happens if I don't get that filled and Basically, if I have the right amount of people, which I, I do, it's not a huge deal that I don't have a patient. I'm missing the experience, of course, and I I want a patient. I want the experience, but it's not like gonna be, you know, the worst thing in the world. So feeling a lot better. I had a really good day at school today. We had to go on campus for clinic theory, which I don't know why. I felt like what we did today could have easily been done online we were lectured to and then we did a group activity but she's quick to put us in a breakout room on zoom so i don't really know why we couldn't do that today now the dean was there like observing our class i think because we're doing i can't ever say this word accreditation i think that was right next year and i guess it's part of her job as a dean to like observe classes i don't really know but couldn't she have done that next week because like i think at some point there is something that we need to be there to do in person but i just don't know why it was today it sucked. I had to get up over two hours earlier to be at the same class. I need to talk to my teacher because in two weeks we have the same class and then we don't have dental materials, which is the class we have after. We don't have that class afterwards and we're on campus. So it's like, it would be so nice if we could just not be on campus the whole day, but I don't think that's gonna happen. After I get off my phone call, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last night and take my shower. So that was a really good idea. I probably should get the dishes unloaded and load the dishwasher. Oh my God, I have a fucking quiz tonight. Oh my God, I have a radiology quiz to do tonight. And I say quiz, but it's like a, kind of like an exam. It's everything we've studied up until now. So I'm gonna take my phone call. I'm gonna take my shower. I'm gonna take my quiz. I'm gonna do some chores and then probably get in the bed because that five hours last night, it went by quick. And we have even less hours tonight. So in dental materials today, it was fun. We trimmed our models that we made. So we used the trimmer to do the mandibular and the maxillary. And then for the mandibular, we also put this stuff called, I forgot what it's called. It's like what you put on the teeth before you make a whitening tray so that the whitening tray or the white, the whitening has a place to go or something. Really don't know, but that's what we did today. It was fun. I, I like dental materials. I didn't stress me out at all. Like the only thing that stresses me out, I was talking to some of my friends, is that I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with the instruments in clinic. Dental materials doesn't stress me out. Radiology doesn't stress me out. Pharmacology doesn't stress me out. None of that. Like it's just the actual cleaning of teeth. So sorry I haven't been able to get any footage in dental materials. I really want to, but it's just like, I could have today because me and this other girl were like back in a room, like by ourselves, but also, I haven't had anybody come up to me and be like, hey, I saw you on YouTube. And whenever somebody does, I think I'm going to literally vomit. But when you start filming stuff, it, you know, people start asking questions. <laughs> and I'm not gonna like lie, cause that makes it even weirder. So I was like, mm, I don't wanna film, you know? I got about 10 minutes into my call. I'm gonna eat the rest of my apple before I jump on it. Hopefully get him scheduled. I'll check in later. If not, tomorrow is the first day where we see patients. And although I am nervous because they are class, like, you know, they get it, alumni, alumna, and a second year, they understand I'm not feeling so anxious, but I am feeling not great. So I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. A few minutes later. Okay, I don't have my mic on, but I just talked to my my guy and he's really nice he said he went to a college in another state like a dental hygiene school and got a cleaning there he did say that that last one was about six years ago 
so but he did also say that he doesn't have any problems with his teeth no complaints so we'll see um uh, yeah so i'm excited i'm going to go ahead and i think i'm going to finish getting my clothes out for tomorrow and then get in the shower and etc so on and so forth so happy 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 i'll talk to you guys later bye good evening i am all moisturized forgot to moisturize last night i didn't forget i just didn't feel like getting out of the bed to do it brush teeth floss teeth fluoride rinse and by the way i am so sick of that um listerine total care not alcohol free uh -uh. i'm so sick of it because it burns it freaking burns i am about to get in the bed with my ipad refine my little cheat sheets oh my god I have all my stuff to get them cut out in the morning. I have like 20 minutes in the morning. I get there at like 6.58 and clinic opens at 7.20. Just wanted to check in. I'm very nervous for tomorrow. I am, but I do have like training wheels on because I'm, you know, I'm seeing a previous student and also my mentor. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and wind down for the night. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. You having a good morning? I'm not. So, like I told you guys yesterday, I talked to my first appointment, who is an alumni of the program. I talked to her a good little while. She told me she was uh, checking her calendar. She has two calendars checking to make sure she was, you know, all good. She told me she had a heart out at 11.20 because she had another appointment to go to because Thursday are her only days off. I told her we make sure to work around her schedule, get her out of there on time, and at two in the morning, I wake up to a text from her at almost midnight telling me that she's working tomorrow and she won't be able to make it. So yep, I got exactly what I expected from her and from everybody, nothing. So I'm pissed, I'm very pissed. I'm not uh, surprised at all. Cause again, this is what I expect from people, nothing. I'm not surprised, but I'm, I'm pissed. How could you do that to somebody knowing, knowing what we go through? Maybe she's local and she didn't have a problem getting patients, but like, okay. <laughs> okay, that's what you wanna do, that's fine. Funny, at, at six o'clock, you don't have no problem coming in, you check two calendars, you have another appointment, and then at midnight, you can't come in? Are you a temp and did you pick up a shift? Was the money, yeah, okay. I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm not running, I am kinda running a little bit late, I'm not gonna be late, but I need to go ahead and get my breakfast eaten and get my stuff together and get out of here. I don't know why I don't have shit to do, but anyway, I'll see you guys later. Well, yeah, no patient. A couple of my classmates were late, so I was able to kind of like help them a little bit. Not really, because I waited around a little bit to talk to my professor about not having a patient. The teacher that's with me today, like with my little group, said that I should walk around campus and try to find a patient. And I decided that I'm not going to do that. I'm going to work on what I was working on last night because there's already two folder, two posters up around campus letting people know about like about those flyers that I showed you. They're up on campus and I don't want to. So I'm not going to. I'd rather do this, my homework and all that stuff. So <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Chat later. Hi, we're here out of school. Clinic is over, but I missed the bus because I left early. So now I have to wait until like 5.30. And I have a night off, so that's nice. It snowed here. I'm gonna eat some protein chips. Get the kombucha and go about my business. I'll talk to you guys at home. Wow, when I tell you that bus driver <laughs> was zooming, he ran multiple lights. He was driving so fast. I got on the bus 50 minutes ago and I'm already home. What in the world? Don't get it me wrong. I'm not complaining, not one bit because I'd rather be here than on the bus, especially with the temperature today. I will go so far as to say it's very cold. It's 12, but it feels like negative four. So pretty cold. I'm about to have, is my mic not working? What the hell? Oh my God. Okay, that was weird. I was pretty sure it was working before I started talking and now I'm eating it. I don't appreciate it. It's doing it again. Maybe it's out of battery. Anyway, okay, hold on. Oh my God, you guys, I was talking the whole time. It wasn't recording. Y'all gonna have to forgive me, but we're not doing no retakes. What I was saying was 
what we did in uh, radiology, vertical bite wings, occlusion, occlusive, occlusion, occlusive, I don't know the right word. I went over my quiz. I did a lot of guessing. I still got a, a an 80, which is technically a C. What else was I saying? I said I'm super hungry. I think I was saying zero sugar root beer is delicious. Like, I, this is crazy. I mean, it was literally not recording. I stopped recording and then I was like, wait, why is it recording? <laughs> Why is it recording me taking my mic off? I can't. I'll talk to you guys later. You guys, look what I just got. I'm so happy. It's my title. I have been checking on my car periodically. I didn't check on it today, but I should have. I am hoping I can call somebody and get them to come take this motherfucker right away. Oh my God. Uh-uh, girl. <laughs> it's not good news. Oh my God. I'm. This is... Okay. Oh my God. I'm in shock. This tells me the vehicle was last title in Minnesota. But when I went to the office in Minnesota, they told me the title was held in Texas. So now they're giving me, is the title office open right now? I think some of them are about to be closed because it's like one o'clock. But if not, I'm gonna try to go up there. They took my money and sent back all my stuff. Oh my God. I am so fucking pissed it says our motor vehicle record indicates a negotiable title was not surrendered at the time of title application as a result texas issued registration only we cannot issue a certified copy of title because the vehicle was last title in minnesota please contact the state of minnesota to obtain a duplicate title oh my god i'm pissed search for a title okay sure let's search for a title i'm so pissed i was so happy when i saw this coming on informed delivery are they open today? Some places are open. Oh, I know it didn't make no sense that I didn't have a title here. I knew it didn't make no sense. Same day duplicate title. That's what I need. Who's open on Saturday? Oh, St. Paul's open till 4.30. Oh, St. Paul, another one's open till six o'clock. Okay, so it looks like I got to go to St. Paul today. So I will see you guys later. I'm not going to take you guys along because I'm irritated. And but I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll let you guys know what happened. Okay, bye. All right, so I'm back. I feel like my entire life, these days it's just getting the run around whether it's with the union at my job or with this freaking car stuff so briefly what happened because i'm already sick that i spent this much time on this today when i thought i had my freaking title in my hand i go to the dmv and the guy's like well our system says it's out of state and i'm like no i get that <laughs> that's what they said when i went to the other one they said it was out of state but as you can see i got this letter from texas and it's they say it's held in minnesota so he says okay let me go grab a supervisor. And then he says, oh no, supervisor's on break. You gotta wait till you get back from break. I'm like, okay, how long is the break? 30 minute break, all right, cool. No more than 30 minutes, no problem. Supervisor comes back from break, but then he's going immediately to another person who needs help. I probably waited, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes more than that. But this lady was acting up in DMV, like she was acting up. So that was fun, it was entertaining. Finally, he goes and talks to the supervisor and long story, as short as I can make it, they say, okay, we looked at one system and it says that the title's held in Minnesota, but my system says that there's a flag on the title, so I can't release the title. So I'm gonna send an email to the state and see if they'll remove the flag. So I'm waiting on that. Obviously they're not open until Monday at the very earliest. He told me he's gonna call me, so I'm gonna wait. I don't think he's gonna call. So really my options are, do I want to on Monday go back up there even without getting a call and be like, can you call them? Like rather than wait for them to respond to your email, can you call them? Or I can just wait. But if I wait, I have no more time to go there until a week from now. Cause you know, I'm pretty much busy with school all week. I guess I'll just not go Monday. I'll wait and see if he calls me. If he doesn't call me all week, I'll just go back up there on Saturday. But that doesn't make any sense though, because if I go back up there on Saturday, we can't con you know, contact the state. I guess I could go on Friday after radiology. I get out at 12. so. I can come home, hopefully find an EV and drive back over there. I guess what I'll, that's what I'll do. But I'm really pissed that I spent so much time doing this. I need to edit my YouTube video. I was in the middle of doing laundry before I left. I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. If I don't come back tomorrow, then thank you for watching another vlog. And I will be back next week with more tales of nonsense and uncertainty. Bye. Hey, 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 it's Sunday. Okay, hey, 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 it's Sunday, right? I just got Amazon package. Morning I went and got my hair braided. I had to take the bus. This is my new thing. I take the bus to an EV. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but our school gives us like a free bus pass. 
the bus is not like expensive, but it is nice to just be able to like jump on the bus. Like the other day I went to the grocery store, which is only like, I don't know, like maybe three or four blocks away. But like I came out of the grocery store and the bus was there. And I was like, let me just hop on the bus, you know, like why not? Went to get my hair done, went to Walmart and Sam's. I got some of these cheese snacks from Sam's. They're really good. Havarti and Gouda, delicious cheese. I got more Faye 2% to make more of my yogurt bowls, like the dupes of the one I was buying from that farmer's fridge. I would say that my version is just as good. Like it literally, it scratches the itch. It would be better, and I think I'm, I might need to do this, if I were to like actually weigh my ingredients to make sure that I'm getting a correct ratio. Like I don't think the ratio is like right. And rather than kind of like eyeballing it, I would rather just measure it out. But that's coming later. Got some paper products, yogurt, apples, bananas, stuff like that. And then I just got this Amazon package. So I said, let's do an Amazon unboxing. I got some more of this peanut powder with honey. I used this when I made that skinny taste peanut butter banana berry wrap roll up thing. I don't know why I use it to be honest with you. I don't think I can taste the honey and the honey is not part of the recipe. So I'm not like, you know, using this instead of using peanut butter and honey. It is good on the calories. Oh, I know why I'm using this because when I was first making them, I had this honey peanut butter that I had gotten from this discount store here and I liked it, but I don't think you can taste as much honey, but whatever, I still buy it. I got coconut cashew butter because I'm going to make, I'm always duping something. Um, first of all, this feels like it might be open because that label is like, you can say greasy. Oh yeah, people on the reviews did say it would come open. It would say that the plastic, the thing is open. Let's see, no, mine is sealed. On the internet, they were saying like it wasn't sealed. Mine is sealed. But I'm gonna make a dupe of this Starbucks protein box. I found the bread they use. I also bought everything bagel seasoning at Walmart today. I bought some more eggs. I bought a whole freaking dozen and didn't use a single one. I'm gonna do the little water trick to see if any of them are still good. And I bought some grapes, of course apples. So I'm gonna use this. I used to use this nut butter. It was by this brand called Mixed Up Nut Butter. The brand still exists, but they don't make my favorite nut butter. It was called Coconut Flurry, I think. It was pecan, coconut, and cashew. So this is like coconut cashew butter. So it's like similar. It's not the pecan, but it's as similar as I could get it. And then I bought the dishwasher cleaner tablets because I ran out. I don't know if you guys know, you gotta clean your dishwasher. You also gotta clean your washing machine. They make stuff to clean it because you can't just use these devices to clean your stuff and not clean it. So unloading my dishwasher now and I'm gonna get it cleaned. Also, you gotta manually clean the filter. I would show you guys, but it's disgusting. Like the filter is so nasty. And then I got, let's see if this is gonna work. I got these, I basically got a smaller version of these because this is so big and it's really not full at all. So my hope is that I can use these smaller ones. It'll take up less space and everybody's happy. The trays are much smaller, but a nice size. I think this will be good. Well, let's see, how far down do the trays sit? The trays, yeah, it's gonna be full, but I think this will be acceptable. So after I get my dishwasher clean, this will go in there. These are top rack safe. I think I'll just transfer the stuff from that one into here because why take the big one to school when you have the small ones? I have three and I'm on campus early three days. They look really small, but I don't know. Let me get this back in the fridge. Let me get my cleaning done, get my dishwasher unloaded so I can clean the dishwasher. See you guys.